Hi everyone, this is Sultan with the KW Funnels team. Now, in my last video, I showed you how you can design your funnel steps. All right. Now, in this video, I'll show you how you can include an order bump uh, to this funnel at the checkout page. All right. Now, an order bump is basically a small relevant offer that you present at the checkout page when they're about to make the payment. All right. And usually, we do not use products that are too expensive as an order bump offer. So we tend to use complementary products uh, or related products that are less in value, but a person might need it with the product that they're already buying, all right? Now, what the order bump does is it allows the user to just uh, click on a checkbox and the product will be added to the checkout, which means a person that likes the offer in the order bump, he doesn't have to leave the checkout page. He can just choose to click on that and it's gonna be added and he can proceed to payment. All right, so this is a great way to increase your sales. So let me just show you how you can enable order bump. Now this is the funnel that I left off last time. Now this everything is configured in this one. Now I'm gonna just enable the order bump. So click on the checkout step and click on the configure icon and it will open the uh, checkout page drawer. And here you see the second tab is called order bump. Click on order bump and you'll have the option to enable order bump. So click on enable order bump and you'll get the options to configure your order bump. Now here you have to first choose a product that you want to offer as an order bump. Now I only have three products in my store so I'm just going to choose one of them. Uh, so let's see. I'll just use let's say this one. And you can see now this product is the main offer in this order bump. All right. So for this funnel in the checkout page, this is the product I'll be giving as an order bump. Now here you can see there are more options for the order bump. You can choose the style of the order bump. So we have currently included two different templates for this, but we, we are working on including many more. So in future, you'll find more and more options to make the order bump more attractive, all right? Now here is the order bump position. This is what we decide where the order bump will be placed in the checkout page. So you have all these options, how you want to view the order bump. So let's say I want to show it before uh, the checkout details, which means this is going to be on top of all the details in the checkout page. I'll show you how it looks uh, in a bit. All right. But before I go there, if I scroll down, you can see there are more options here. Uh, I can add a highlight text, which is basically this one. And I can add a checkbox label, basically the text beside the checkbox. And usually when they find the order bump, if they click on this checkbox, uh, this uh, offer gets added to the checkout. Then there's the product description, which you'll be uh, customly adding uh, for the order bump only. All right. And then you have the option to add some uh, discounts on the product price. All right. So normally when you have a sale going on on your site, you don't have to add any discount because at that time there'll be a sale price that will be viewed to a customer. But let's say you don't have a discount going on. In that case, if you want, you can click over here and include a percentage or flat amount discount, right? So I'll be explaining more about the discount or how to use that uh, in one of the future videos. For now, let me just stick with the basics of the order bump. So now once I'm done choosing the template, the position and the text I want to include and most importantly, the product, uh, I can also choose the quantity, all right? So once I'm ready with this, I'll just click on save changes, all right? and we are good to go. Now let me just preview the checkout page. And here you can see before the checkout details, the order bump offer is right here. If I would choose before order details, the order bump would probably be somewhere in this area, all right? And uh, depending on different positions I choose, that is where it's gonna be placed, all right? Now, if I want, I can also see this position in the Elementor uh, edit mode. So let me just edit the checkout page. And there you go. You can see here the order bump is in the right position that you chose. Now remember, as I told you, this form is basically one of our widgets. So once you click on this, you'll get the widget options right here. Okay. Uh, now for the order bump, if you don't want to include the order bump in this, let's say you have a change of mind while editing the page, you thought maybe you don't want an order bump here. You can just change it to no. And once you do that, you see the order bump is gone. Now, let me just enable it again. And you'll see it's right here. 
Now here you can also choose what style to uh, include. So let's say when you're designing this, uh, you decided, okay, this style doesn't suit me. Let me just change the style. In that case, you can change the style here. All right. Now also while editing, let's say you decided this is not a good position. It would be better off if it was placed right here. Then you can click on this and choose after checkout details. In the same way, whichever position you think is suitable uh, while designing this, you can change the options there, all right? And you can change the text over here as well, all right? So the fact is you will be able to uh, place the order bump in your checkout page however you want uh, on the live preview and editing with Elementor. And uh, also in the back end, you can simply choose the basic options that we just edited in the Elementor edit mode, all right? So once you have enabled this order bump and included the product, and also place it on your checkout page. Now, every time a person is gonna go through this funnel, in the checkout, he's gonna get this particular order bump offer. And who knows, maybe he'll end up accepting the offer, all right? So that's how easy it is to include an order bump to your funnel using WP Funnels, all right? So I'll just end the video here, and in my next few videos, I'll focus on more refined features, and I'll also try to explain how different types of funnel works for different types of industries, all right? So thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care.